My friends, welcome back. We are playing EU4 as Cologne, and I'm surprised that I am still alive. We are, I think, very close at the very first 100 years of the game. And starting with these three provinces, I'd say we, uh, we definitely expanded quite a bit. I'm very happy about it. Also, we are looking into... Achieving some more of these um, technologies. Uh, but also, we need to make sure that we get some of these finally done. So, we're going to take this. And we're going to be taking the garrison size as well. And uh, we're almost there. We are almost there. Now, we also get no... Um, let no man tolerate the witch. So, missionary strength is increased. Although, we still have no real need for it. Uh, but we'll see where everything will go for. We could also take construction cost and still be semi-close for what we want to be having. So let's take all of this. This means in terms of technology, well, we can still take the military tick. Don't really really need it right now. Uh, the rest of it is, is quite nice because we can buy now for 72, which is... Definitely a massive reduction and does make me quite happy. We were saving up to get a uh, another defensive fortress over in this province. Um, but I'm not sure if that is actually what I want. Considering that we already are lacking money. We could potentially just mothball the forts. And that would still be um, be nice in terms of uh, financial uh, means. How much would it be? Yeah, we're making like two ducats then. That's way better. That's way better. Now we have war exhaust, which is slowly going down. Um, too few rivals. Now I've been thinking about this. Um, not quite sure where Tuscany is. In all honesty. Uh, but I think that it's... Uh, I think if we click... Can we click these? No, we can't. Um, what I want to do is take Tier. Tier is dangerous. I don't like that Tier has become this, this large. Um, as for his allies, I don't really care about them. Since they are just over here. Still, it's 9k though. <laughs> Let us not forget this. It is still 9k. And uh, we can't really expand. We could free up an alliance slot and maybe try to get Burgundy in there. Although, <sighs> I'm not sure. Maybe we could get like Denmark. He is already higher than, um, than Burgundy. I, I need a way to get rid of Burgundy. Burgundy is the biggest threat to my country. Since he's now directly like... like but well, almost directly bordering me here with Breda. No, actually he is. Like, this is a border situation already. Um, it's a matter of time until they uh, get in there and try to siege up me. France is... Well, pathetic. <laughs> to say the least. Wow. What happened with France, man? Portugal has almost been eaten by Castile. Uh, the Ottomans are semi-annoying. Rusland or uh, Russia is um, not doing too well against Denmark by the looks of it. So Denmark would actually be a nice ally to have. Poland has been extending into Lithuania. Man, a lot has changed. A lot has changed. Eventually, I kind of hope to, that we could keep Austria as a um, a good ally. He is still um, the ruler of the HRE so he does get a lot of benefits in terms of um, income as well as manpower and force limit. Look at that plus 18 and a half and tax income plus 14 14 gold guys. Just for being the, uh, the emperor makes it, it's so powerful. It is so powerful. Now Without further ado, let us just take our new rival, which is going to be Thier. He doesn't like it. Uh, it will most likely break my alliance with him. But until that happens, we um, 
don't have to worry about it do we have course on most of these country or most of these no not yet improving relations here with saxony that is important he is my vassal and we do want to make sure that he remains happy and this will change this will definitely change and we'll start gaining more income um the vert trade that will change liberty desire plus 30 and that will go to 60 is more than 50 that's a problem grand core grand provinces seize land no not really don't need this apparently he is now on no focus and i would like you to be supportive he needs to start building up troops that is what i hope he will do uh, quite shortly but it looks of it he has 18,000 in manpower which is quite nice no sailors he has some good development and legit legit the semi is quite high and we could get a very nice income from him by the looks of it how much would it be sort by income is paying us 36 that's this is gorgeous that's gorgeous so for now let's build up uh, this and let's make sure that we get this guy annihilated because that is quite annoying i don't like that we get that negative 10 there uh, but what can we do also we have one loan let's repay that because i don't need it to um gain more interest rate do we want to pay this not really considering we still have some technologies that we want to be buying quite shortly um do we want to get the military tech uh, no not right now also i would like to go to war with these guys they hate me if they declare war upon me right maybe denmark would not be interested but denmark is not in a war and yeah that is uh, frightening truly frightening yeah, we'll have to wait with that uh, until we get the new technologies. We'll build up and things will be fine. So for you, let's go there. Let's annihilate these guys. <clears throat> but we're now almost 100 years in. I, be I believe 1544 is 100 years. And we actually get a negative one because this is now his territory. And he wants to free it. So this will definitely get us into a negative due to reinforcements. Um, but uh, we'll stay here for a while. And we'll start drilling once this is all back towards us no other rebellious factions other than of course their munster who will spawn what 15k we can deal with that that's that's not a big problem not a big problem he says just before he dies famous last words uh i kind of want to build a stack up to do what is a good size stack, uh, stack guys uh, i would like to hear that from you um is it like 15 is it 20 uh i can see 12 here and 23 um maybe 15 is a good size sack uh stack sack <laughs> no no thank you um that would mean this would be six and this would be like i think oh my god uh, nine yeah nine so three troops will go into a new regiment building two armies actually has some um, some good opportunities for us as well so let's make sure that we reinforce our troops over here and we'll deal with the other separatists later for now just start drilling again um, because we are so close at army professionalism we actually lost a few to do uh, these events i don't care for that Soviet casualties we know that uh, invest in new technology <clears throat> yeah okay we know we'll just save up for now and i wonder where we're what idea we are going to be taking next a uh, national tax modifier plus 10 is actually quite nice attrition for armies garrison size our fortresses are going to be quite strong though how do you level up a um a fortress by the way wasn't there a coalition growing against us yeah Ooh, that is scary that is scary so we might definitely want to build up troops and make this army larger uh, force limit there is 24 mm. well we'll have to wait though for some more money just get more infantry uh, that's the cheapest uh, if i can get free i would be happy about that uh, my army my navies have merged together 
And we still gain 10, but I think my force limit is 16. Yeah, so we can't really go over there. I don't want to go over there. Do we want to build a flagship? Not sure if that is what I want. Also, uh, I know that you can hear it, but I've increased the um, uh, the audio. Let's see, what is this? Unrest? Negative... Um, let us not do that. Magdenburg. Let's take a look, because I don't fully understand all of this. Um, negative 99. Let's take a look here. Yeah, so we can actually decrease this and gain more money. Let's decrease. And let's just decrease this one as well. We can do that from here then. Uh, negative 1. Yeah, let's just wait for a tiny bit more. I think it will go down by 10. And the unrest in some of these provinces is really, like, high. So I don't want to deal with that right away. Although... Yeah, well, you know what? We'll go for the money. We'll go for the money. Let's do the unrest almost everywhere except where it is uh, red. So, like this. They will grow some unrest. I hope by the time that uh, they revolt, I will be able to deal with them. Um, yeah, so far, so good. Why not? One of my advisors apparently died. I don't like that. Um, I would like to get the, the discipline, but we're still not making enough money to deal with that. Let's get the national force limit guy. Construction cost, national tax modifier. Yeah, we need to build up more on uh, on money. Um, army maintenance. Mm, yeah, we're full now, so let's let's lower that. We're making plus five, plus five. <laughs> oh yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. Um, Tier is no longer a valid rival for us. Uh, Austria has embraced colonialism. Hello. Let's take a look here. Because if they do, then it is slowly snaking towards us. We are almost getting there. I'm thinking that it might be building up here already. Yeah, finally. That took forever. That took forever. How much money would we need to uh, embrace that stuff? Oof. That's going to be expensive. But not as expensive as my... Um, Technology, because that has been uh, taking a, 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 a large hit. I don't want to get Denmark, even though his armies apparently are 21% weaker than mine. I, I don't know. I don't know about that. I think that might be a lie. Hmm. Oh, this is still open. Oh, that's handy. Let's just lower this a tiny bit, because it's it's quite uh, quite loud. Um, let's take a look at Denmark. Military, armies, Denmark. That's not Denmark. Denmark's your N. Really? Oh, you're not doing well. Oh, hello. Wait, really? Sweden. How much for Sweden? Can we support your independence? He, um, he cannot reach. We cannot reach Denmark. Uh, not yet, but if we declare a war upon him, Denmark isn't that big of a um, of a threat at the moment. Although I don't, I still don't want to deal with the aggressive expansion. It's still high, and I think we might still have some war exhaust going on. Of course, I don't know where to find it now. There you go, war exhaust 4.9. Let's not do that. Um, state firearm. What's that? Uh, army drill again modifier, but land maintenance modifier negative 15. Again? Didn't we already have that? Military technology 6. Have at least 20 army professionalism. So we finally have it. I don't think we... Need to do that right now. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll just continue the drilling. Since we are making such a nice amount of money. Uh, Saxony. How are you doing buddy? Uh, yeah you're starting to like me. And I, I like that you like me. I really like that you like me. Because you start paying me more money. 
So we'll build this up slowly and then we're going to say divert trade since we want to make even more money. Uh, we've lost the trade causes belly against Leech. Um, I still need this to die out slowly. Because some of these countries are very close and just declaring me like the baddest thing on the planet. And I don't need that. I don't want to deal with that right now. We need to develop some more. And... Yeah, should we take this? Let's just take it, whatever. What does this do? Lose army professionalism. Has left the military... Uh, oh, fine. Nuremberg is left. That's great. That, that's the first step. Right? Um, what does this idea do now? Elite regiments will be removed. No, go away. I don't want to know you anymore. Uh, no longer claims upon upper... Okay, so we need to start building up our claims. Uh, religious turmoil. Not for us, luckily. Burgers lose a loyalty. We lose a stability. I don't need to lose. Lose government reform progress. How long? Actually, that's 25%. It's, it's quite a bit. Uh, for something that happens in two years' time. Uh, but I kind of want to make them more loyal. And we can ask for a contribution. When is this happening? 15 years. Let's ask for that contribution. Uh, we can start more development. How about you? Demand diplomatic points. Um, it's 84 though. Uh, we lose money but gain admin. Let's do it like that. And this way we can't do anything. So that's fine. So 84. I'd say... Let's boost in a few more trips. So we are a bit stronger. And we can actually go to 24 now. Okay, maybe we, we wanted to get a second army. Maybe. Let's just get rid of these troops right now. And they're not been there for that long. Um, let us say... 4, 2, and... 1, 2, 3... So, that's uh, 9, 11, 15. Let me know if this is a mistake. So, let's start sending you over there. You are going to gain... 3. And... 2 calf. And we are going to take... Another general. And it is... Wow! Wow! He's nice. He's a 4-4-2-3. Four, four, well, hello. <laughs> I'm happy about that. Um, let's uh, flip you over with my main army. And you're going to get this guy signed. And we are also going to be um, drilling right over there. We, we are going to uh, remain drilling and we're building up our second army. I think that's the, that's a good call. I think that's a good call. If it's not, let me know in the comment section. I uh, I do want to change it then. Uh, but that general role, that was uh, that was nice. Go there, all of you. Go there. I don't care what you do. Start moving. Uh, we've received word. We're embracing in colonialism. You go there. You go there. Why can I not move you? Oh, because of the uh, morale. Yeah, that's the problem. Uh, can we embrace? No, because we will get a message saying that hey, you can now embrace. So that's the 15, you guys. Let's just um, keep the, go the troops going. Uh, it's fine. You are now going somewhere else, which is still fine. Oh yeah, look at that. 424. Uh, that's quite expensive. That is quite expensive. And as long as we don't have to... 
spend it on technology, it's not the biggest I problem, right? Okay, you guys, drill. I want to remain keep you drilling at all times. So, small group. We can still buy one more. Uh, so, let's group you. Let's group you and let's get a cannon in there. Just to ruin my economy some more. Okay, so by the looks of it, we can no longer increase with Saxony. Uh, he's at negative 14, which is okay. We'll just wait until it even um, gets lower than that. Uh, but you can go back. Uh, we're making 36 now from them, which is nice. Let's take a look. Where do we have claims upon? So we got claims on you. Uh, not on you. But you're my ally. So I don't really need a claim on you. I do want to get claims upon Galra. He's allied with Tier and he will come to his aid. Getting more coastal regions, uh, I think, would be the best idea. Cleves. Oh, we don't have a, uh, tr uh, any claim upon you, Burke. We lost our claim upon Nassau. But Berg is more important than any of the uh, the others. You're not at war, but you're suffering from... Rebels. Getting cleaves would be quite nice. So we're not offering you an alliance. Can we actually do something else? Offer vassalization. Economy based on that of cleaves. A member of the empire. Trust. Yeah, you trust me as far as you can throw me. Let us uh, not improve relations. We'll start building up... Who is actually something that I need for a mission? So we don't have to go to the left. We actually need to go into this direction. Oh, we got a lot of work ahead of, uh, ahead of us. A lot. To form Germany. But I think uh, form West Philadelphia is going to be easier. We only need Hanover and... Uh, and that shouldn't be too big of a problem. Uh, if we can keep this army around to deal with, like, the Danish army, uh, we could potentially just uh, declare war. Uh, wow. Oh, yeah, the coalition would trigger. That would be annoying. Could call in Castile, but we still have to deal with all of these. And they would automatically join, so, yeah, don't really like to do that right now. But for now, just uh, keep drilling. Uh, we'll make a bit less money, but I think it will be fine for now. Go here and build up that spine network. There's a little more you can do right now. Uh, there's still so much we need to approve on. And just to get them out of that coalition. For now, if my forts are not mothballed, we would barely make any money. To accept the uh, knowledge sharing of Austria. Yeah, rivals. That was a thing. Denmark. Poland. Tuscany. Where the hell is Tuscany? Let's see. Um, this one. Tuscany. Wait, are you one of these? Yeah, you're over here. This grayed out area, that's Tuscany? Well, we could just get him as an... As a rival. <sighs> I don't like that Tierra is not a valid rival at the moment. And I don't want to deal with Burgundy. I definitely not want to um, get Denmark on a bad side. Tuscany already hates me. So, do we care about that? No, let's just get him as a rival. And let's end the video up here. Thanks you. Wow. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I uh, I hope you're enjoying. Let me know if this is a good idea or not. Uh, but I kind of like to be at my uh, my army size. And the more that we can get, the better. So nine troops cannon is on the go, and that would probably destroy my income some more. Uh, but shortly uh, we can get more technology. 
uh, and also embrace this and i want it to be embraced a lot cheaper than it is right now some of these are all made oh let's take 72 percent present so that ain't bad that ain't bad 13 percent of it so we'll wait uh but look at this the current technology cost penalty is 41 percent that's that's sick and in in nine years time the printing press is uh, is going to happen so yeah we want to get prepared for that global trade mercenaries plus one or merchants plus one yeah guys thank you so much for watching hope you enjoyed hope to see you next time have a good one bye bye